Later, I received an invitation from Ehor to be one part of a pairing in a two-person exhibition. Surprise was quickly followed by delight and then panic mixed in with dread. But the work gradually began to take shape in the studio. My time, research, and the realization of a new body of work, which is somewhat removed from previous investigations, has been made possible by generous support of the Canada Council for the Arts and the Ontario Arts Council. I am very grateful for this support, for what you see installed here in this most delicious of white cubes, is what was built. The individual pieces were constructed, then altered, taken apart, put back together, only to be taken apart again. The mass, comprised of aluminum, sheathing, was sliced apart, bound together, cut apart again, sewn together with binding wire, stomped on, squished between si sheets of plywood, and it, until it resembled a shape that made sense to me, or was familiar, as part of the bigger investigation that I called Fisher, which is the second part of an ongoing, somewhat superficial fascination with geology. I like graphs and tables. I love the maps depicting extreme weather and or geological events like earthquakes, volcanoes, and avalanches. These maps and graphs and tables are beautiful abstractions of what can really be a terrifying thing. Part of the attraction to the aluminum is that it is, for me, as ubiquitous pla as plastic, which is the work that I've been exploring for several years now. It is also a part of a na bigger narrative in Iceland, but that is a story for another day. AL13 was built in the same manner as most of my recent work, by attaching one thing to another until a shape or form that was familiar emerged. Also composed of aluminum is the work on the back wall entitled Orelli, Elements of a Seismic Landscape, which employs for me these sort of strategies of drawing, of drawing in space. The image from, is based on seismic graphs and is also used and is drawn using armature wire and installed in layers, which cast shadows of vertical lines and hor vertical and horizontal lines. As with pre previous projects, the Fisher project refers to as aspects of landscape and is partly composed of plastic and polypropylene. Thulver, or tux, Tussocks, 2014, is a series of seven tightly bound tussock shapes made out of plastic garden netting. Um, these works here, Klumpfer 1, 2, and 3, are made up of three reconfigured sections of a work titled Avalanche, which was, I produced for Supercrawl in 2012. And this is in keeping or illustrative of the way that I approach work and material, taking one thing designed for something and making it work or adapting it for another. It also means that my inventory of completed works is never static. Thank you.